Hey guys, what's going on? It's Acme Packs, and I welcome each and every one of you back for a new release day video of 2022 Don Russ Clearly. Let's crack one open and see what we can get inside. Let's get into it. So this is year two now for this product. It's coming in at $160 a piece right now on Panini's website. It is an all acetate set, um, which some people like, some people don't. Um, I'm kind of indifferent about it, but I do really like this set. And I think it comes in at a decent price point as well. So out of here, you are going to get a um, <clears throat> hundred, or it's a hundred card set, 50 base, 50 rookie cards, um, $160 a piece, like I said. Could go up, could, uh, could go down, depending on how the market receives this. Um, last year's product did drop significantly after release. Um, but, you know, this is a totally different draft class right now. And, you know, the hobby is still strong. But it seems like hobby boxes have dropped in price um, overall. But uh, this is a 16-box case. Five cards per pack. Four packs per box. So 20 total cards. It's a smaller uh, box than normal, so it's going to be a quicker rip. Uh, one autograph, one insert, two parallels, and eight rated rookies and eight base cards per box. So out of here, you are looking for the uh, retro rated rookie tribute cards. It's actually kind of cool. They have the uh, 2017 and 2018 um, retro rated rookies in here, which is which is a, a very cool uh, addition to this set. Um, <clears throat> additionally, you are going to be looking for the ultra rare inserts, including Downtown, Gridiron Marvels, Night Moves, and the all new Nuclear. So I've heard that the Gridiron Marvels are about one in three cases, and the Nuclear may even be shorter print than that. All of these um, ultra rare inserts do come with one of one um, platinum um, parallels as well. But we'll show you guys the checklist on the back quick. <clears throat> so you have base gold, um, hollow mosaic, and then for the rookies, you have the hollow rated rookie logo. Um, those are all going to be non-numbered. Uh, then you have purple going down to platinum one of one. So 175 to one on the parallels. So this is a, you know, I would say this is a shorter print set just because it is only a 100 card base set. But, you know, I, only time will tell how much of this stuff was actually printed. Uh, you do have the chance for rated rookie autographs and a handful of vet autographs. The vet autograph checklist is very good uh, for this product. But you are really looking for a good rated rookie or uh, one of those uh, big case hits, uh, the four case hits. So let's break our box open, see what we got. Say, again, going to be a shorter rip today but i do enjoy this product i think it is good for the money to be honest but if you guys enjoy the release day rips be sure to drop a like comment below and subscribe if you guys already haven't really helps me out and keeps the channel going so we'll take a look at the base card here quick oh we got something behind that so base card obviously it just looks like Don Ross. It's the same thing that it did last year, but it is all acetate. Russ, uh, Danger Russ there. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna have DK Metcalf on the base as well, and then we're gonna have a Matthew Stafford numbered out of 65 out of 75. I think that's like an orange or copper, maybe. Um, cool card there. I do like that the whole card is tinted um, I don't remember, don't remember if they had that last year or not, but very cool. Awesome. Rated rookies are going to be Pierre Strong and Sky Moore and Calvin Austin. Did we get, I think we got an extra card in that pack. <laughs> I won't complain. Awesome. Watch us only get, uh, three cards in this pack now. Okay, pack number two. Gonna have Jamar Chase, Zach Wilson, and then backwards card to Patriot. Tyquan Thornton. Ugh, that hurts. Um, autograph is guaranteed by Panini on that one. So, oh uh, man. This guy follows a lot of people, a lot of places. And, you know, it is what it is sometimes. 
just the standard rated rookie. Then we're going to have a rated rookie of Christian Watson and Jalen Tolbert. Jalen Tolbert, another guy that is everywhere. But nice Christian Watson for the PC. All right, we are really banking on a nice numbered card or one of the big inserts now. Okay. So it looks like we're going to have a My House, kind of from what I can tell. Yeah. Jonathan Taylor on the My House. Don't think that's numbered. That would be, yeah, not numbered. But then we got Brees Hall on the Rated Rookie and Carson Strong. <laughs> uh, you know what? This has been a pretty rough box so far. Definitely not going to get it done. Should have one more parallel in here, though. Let's see. Maybe the, the football gods have spared us. Okay, we're going to have Kyler Murray on the front, Chris Godwin, and then Kenny Pickett. Hey, that's actually a gold parallel. Not going to save the box, but definitely... Oh, and a Brock Purdy right behind that. And a Garrett Wilson. Hey, three really, really good rated rookies on the back here. So this is, if you guys can see up here, is a gold foil on the Don Ross. Would have loved that to be numbered. But we'll take it, of course. Kenny Pickett, only first rounder drafted, or only first round quarterback drafted. And then we have a Brock Purdy, who did change his picture in this uh, this set. So he does, he is wearing number 13. And yeah, pretty good, pretty good action shot of him actually on this one. I like that a lot. And then a Garrett Wilson rated rookie on the base. So that last pack definitely saved some of the box. Um, love to see it. Our hits are going to be uh, Garrett Wilson base, uh, Brock Purdy base, a Kenny Pickett on the gold um, rated rookie foil, a Brees Hall rated rookie, Christian Watson rated rookie, Tyquan Thornton was our autograph, and then we had a Matt Stafford numbered 65 out of 75. So that is probably a very average box, in my opinion. You might get a better autograph or you might get a better insert, but let me know what you guys think. Was the price point good for this? Will you be picking up anything, any of this? And do you actually like the look of the cards and the acetates? Let me know down in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.